Psalms 119, verse 9. Beth. And when you see Beth in a, in a word like Bethlehem, Bethel means house. Bethel, Bethel, house of God. Bethlehem, a house of bread. As we pick up verses 9 through 16, we're picking up on cleansing by the word. We've done the blessings by obeying the word, now cleansing by the word. And Jesus Christ in John chapter 1 is the word. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? Young man, because that's youngness, that's when he's usually the sinners most of his life. He knows it all. He's done it all. By taking heed thereto according to thy word, God's word. So you need to know what the Bible says. You need to study the Bible and learn what sin is and learn what to do when you have sin. You don't go run to a man. You don't go run to a religion. You don't even go run to a church. You run to the word about your sins. And how to be cleansed and how to be right. And you need to rightly divide the word of God. You can't just open up anywhere and put your finger down. Okay, this is what I need to do. With my whole heart, and we looked at that verse 2. My whole heart, I am to seek the Lord. With my whole heart, have I sought thee. So you seek in the present tense. You sought in the past tense. It is something you have done, and it is something you are to be doing. Oh, let me not wander from thy commandments. Again, it is stepping away from what God wants from you. What God has you to do. And there are commandments in every dispensation. Thy word have I hid in my heart. That I might not sin against thee. You can't put it in your head. You can't put it in a diploma. You got to memorize scripture. You got to put it in your heart. What if they take the Bibles away from you? What if they find out one day, okay, the Bible's not worth printing no more, so we're not going to print them no more? What if they close the printing houses down for the Bible? What are you going to do then? What do you do if they if they start arresting Christians and put you in jail? What can you what can you remember in jail or being in solitaire where you don't have a Bible to read? That I might not sin against thee. Read in the Bible and put it into your heart. The Holy Spirit can use it for your life to be pure and clean. The best thing, one of the best scriptures you should know is scriptures that deal with your personal sins. Find where they are in the Bible and memorize them, and the Holy Spirit can use those verses when you're about to sin, when you're thinking about sinning. See, we want to, know, we want to memorize scripture to go deal with people about their souls and all that, but what about our own soul? What about our own sins? Never mind someone else's sin. You can't be a clean vessel of the Lord when you, if you're filthy. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy statutes. And statute is a setup or a decree. And Jesus said in, in the Gospel of John that the Holy Spirit is our teacher. The Holy Spirit is to be our guidance and remembrance. With my lips have I declared all the judgments of thy mouth. Have you declared the word of God to others? I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimonies as much as as much as I as much as in all riches. Does God give you greater joy than winning a lottery or winning something or a, a stuffed animal or getting a paycheck? Is God your ultimate rejoicement? After all, the paycheck or whatever it is came from God anyway. I will meditate, think on 
prayer upon in thy precepts it's a command or order to morale and have respect unto thy ways verse 15 is a hard verse for the world today because children have no idea what the word respect means people have no respect for their elderly or women when this woman when this woman's rights came in to be the women took a stand and the man sat down that's not how it ought to be you don't honor the old the agent like you should you don't honor the, the warriors or the soldiers like you should there's no respect and when there's no respect there's decay depravity that's exactly where we are in America today I will delight myself in thy statue do you delight yourself in the word of God it said before have you rejoiced in the way of the testimony that do you delight I will not forget thy word you memorize it you better not forget the word I don't care I mean okay if you get all timers or something like that I maybe God still have if you memorize and read it and that maybe it's still in there people don't know but you know you should not forget the word because the words for forever settled in heaven heaven's earth will pass away but God's word will not pass away and we've already studied the blessing by obeying the word so you ought to know what the word says you ought to rejoice in what the word says and tonight be cleansed by the word you ought to properly handle the word of God For the cleansing of the word, you better know that when a when a church teaches something that is wrong, you better know scripturally where it's wrong and why it's wrong. And what you are to do what is right and approved of God for where you are. I mean, I can go out and start telling people bring animals to an altar, and that's perfectly properly right. Not for this day and age. It was right for one group of people. It's not right for, the, for us in the church age. Now it's going to happen again. The animal sacrifices. As we conclude with these eight verses. About the word of God. And Jesus being the word is the only one. That can cleanse you of your sins. Oh Lord my God. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art. How great thou art, then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And when I think that God his Son not sparing sent him to die, I scarce can take it in That on the cross My burden gladly bearing He bled and died To take away my sin Then sings my soul My Savior God to thee How great thou art How great thou art then sings my soul, my Savior God.